Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I ruin a planet for humanity's sake. Today, we're back out in Planet Crafter, and I really want to focus on progression today. Honestly, I've been intentionally not focusing on it much because uh, I don't want this game to end. I'm having a blast exploring the lands, uh, but a lot of you guys are getting mad at me that I haven't really focused on mining or doing any of the algae extractors, all those fun things, so we can terraform this planet quicker. So we're going to be doing a little bit of that today to start off with though you guys let me know a few things that i've missed i do read a lot of the comments on this game because of how complex it is uh so there's supposed to be uh, another mine somewhere over to the left and i think i missed something on the big ship once again so we're gonna head back there real quick and uh see if we can find what i missed all right so it's all around this area we haven't really explored much of this area in a while but there's supposed to be a mine on the cliff side at least according to you guys. So I'm going to look around here and see if I can find it. Oh, you know what? This is clearly something. So we'll go through here. Oh, wow. It changes the whole uh, dynamic over here. I don't know if this is the mine or not. Yeah, this is definitely a mine. And it is. Okay, I thought you guys were trolling me. This is a super alloy mine. Now, you guys also let me know I need the miner T2 to get rare resources out of the miner. So... We should be able to extract rare resources in these mines. We just have to wait until we unlock the tier two variant. So this is a huge find. Uh, I think, oh my God, this is a big mine too. It doesn't look like it has too much. What the hell is that? Doesn't look like it has much super alloy. This looks, man, this is definitely a door, right? What the hell? That is definitely not rock. This is man-made. How do we open this up? All right, well, it's always a good start when I can find more super alloy. We got almost a full inventory of stuff here. Um, I'll take the salt. What? Fertilizer? I don't think I've seen that. I'm going to take that just in case. I, that maybe make explosives. And I don't know if we can get into farming. Well, we do farm a bit, but I wonder if we can make a bigger farm with fertilization. Anyways, uh, that is right by the uh, base I wanted to go to, as you can see. So not hard to uh, find. I can't believe I missed that. I didn't explore this part clearly as good as I thought I did. All right, and I believe they were referring to this base. There's supposed to be a secret compartment. So if we follow the path to the right and then go up the ladder. Okay, so this ladder and then go all the way to the end. There's supposed to be a door I can dismantle or a wall, I should say. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I would have never found that if it wasn't for you guys. What is inside these? More blueprints. We already maxed out those, but we'll take them for when we unlock new ones. I have better seeds at home, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, super alloy. Gladly take that. I still grab the Tuscas because they're a really good oxygen multiplier. And so, yeah, this is just a bunch of resources. I am definitely not complaining with that. And we can do a bunch more oxygen plants if we do want to. Is there anything else I can extract? Now I want to go to all these bases and see if I can just destroy any secret walls. So, yes, thank you for keeping up and uh, giving me information on things that I miss. I uh, This game is very in-depth, so I definitely will miss a lot of things. So if you want me to see something i am reading a lot of the comments in this game and we can go back and uh get all the things that i totally miss so a big goal of mine at the start was to build this base over to this flat area over here i'm hoping i can actually start working on that today uh i gotta assume the water won't go that high maybe i should wait till the water is done though um, I don't think we're anywhere near done, though. But yes, I definitely need more room to expand out. It's kind of, you know, pretty tight up, up here now, as you can see. So I will be working on trying to expand out this base and maybe adding a secondary base over there temporarily. Because, yeah, right now we're only at 18.6 to lakes. So I got to assume we're going to get a lot more water. Regardless, I want to build this way anyway. So we'll start building that way. And hopefully that doesn't go underwater because I would love to have a massive base over there. This base is getting a little tight, as you can see. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this massive iron foundation. This was essentially my iron storage. 
And, um, yeah, we'll use this to expand out the base quickly here. All right, so the biggest thing I haven't focused on is drilling. Uh, we need pressure to unlock something I really, really want, which is the ore extractor T2. As I said, that's how you get rare resources out of the ground. I'm having a harder and harder of a time just getting basic resources. As the planet changes, it seems like the resources start to go away and you have to make your own. So I really want to work on pressure. So we're going to be drilling in the ground a hell of a lot more today. I don't know if we'll unlock unlock that but i believe i have the tier three drill the tier four drill is uh made by heat so that's something else we want to work on as well it's kind of confusing the drills are all over the place in this unlock scheme well good news i just unlocked the uh nuclear reactor t2 so i gotta figure out how to use this thing finally because i need iridium so i just put it in there and hit the big button oh <laughs> That was freaking cool. Okay. And I did that because the new nuclear reactor requires explosive powder and I needed iridium for that. So we're finally getting into the more complex stuff. It's nice being able to use these machines over here. Wow, these things are extremely expensive. Three uranium rods. I think it's going to be worth it, though. I don't like dealing with power. I'm only going to be able to make one with all my rods. Rods are not easy to come by. Uh, very. It's nine uranium to make one rod, so... I guess we'll store the explosive powder, but at least we can make one of these, which will help out a lot. We have two of the T1 ones, and they changed everything. My god, this is this is why I need space. They're getting bigger and bigger. All right, it's going to be ugly up here, but I don't care anymore. We might even take off the, the solar panels soon. Look at the size of this. I think we'll be okay for power for at least hopefully a little bit. Now I can put down drills without worrying. All right, so I'm going to take a risk and assume this won't go under the water and start building some of my extractors over here because ultimate goal is to make the main base over here uh so yeah we'll put down i don't know how many i can do my god these things are massive too there we go that's more like it that looks so cool i love the mechanics in this game so i think that's enough pressure for right now i want to work on more miners it's getting harder and harder at least over by my base to get raw resources as you can see over here though still fantastic so i'm gonna collect a bunch before i go back oh a flower spreader. That's exciting. I was just about to say, <laughs> look at my OG base. It's pretty much all the way underwater now. Yes, I could get rid of that if I wanted to. I kind of like it, though. It's good. It's good memories, you know, of the basics of this game. Anyways, as you can see, working on, uh, well, just building a long walkway slowly over there. Because, yeah, I'm sick of dealing with this mountain range here. I'm constantly walking that way. So I may as well build my base that way. Uh, weather's kind of bad out. Jesus, I asked for water. I didn't expect this much. Anyways, been working on iridium rods now because uh, I need to get as many resources as possible. So we, I think we have enough for two more drills. Yeah, I'm going to put them in the iridium mine because I do get a bit of iridium uh, with the T1 drill. And being that I need so many of the iridium rods now, it only makes sense to do that. So we'll have a little mining operation over here. All right, there we go. Mine, my babies. Now I don't have to go out and get a bunch of raw resources because this will do it for me. Oh, interesting. So I can't chain anymore. That must mean I'm right by the wall. I can't actually go out to see because I don't have any doors here. Actually, we can probably just make a door real quick. Oh, I have no silicone with me. I pretty much guarantee because, yeah, I can still build. I have hit the far wall. Check this out. <laughs> it is so far away. I have spent so much time and resources trying to build this hallway some people might think it's dumb but i love the idea of having all my bases connected to one now i'll definitely add some windows here later i kind of get claustrophobic running down here uh but yeah i just i don't have the time to do that right now i'm just trying to get as far as i can as quickly as i can God, this might be too long, honestly. Also, I should mention I've been moving things over here. So I'm going to have all my displays in this big room. This will be kind of like my new hub. Uh, I also have the display case added for all the trophies that I get. And oh, it's really dark out. Um, Yeah, we clearly hit that wall. So we're going to go over a bit and then head down. Because, yeah, ultimately what I would like is to kind of have my base overlooking this waterfall going down here. Because this is a great place to go to a bunch of different areas on this part of the map. So I think we'll kind of drop it down. We'll go out maybe one or two more and bring it over here and pretty much drop it right here. Uh, then we're right by the rest of this stuff too. And we can expand out here and build a bigger base on this side. Because it's nice and flat ground here. Oh. 
It's been a while since we've seen one of these. This is actually fantastic. Because I need resources, man. It has been rough. Thank you. Another one? Oh, man. It must not like that I'm here. Anyways, good news. The great... <laughs> the great hallway is done. Now I'm going to uh, design... I think I want to put another biodome at the other side. It's going to take a lot of super alloy, but that's going to give us more oxygen and obviously will expand out even quicker. So, I mean, I have the super alloys. I may as well do that. I also think I'll put a ladder, a massive ladder at that uh, going down. Now, this is an indoor ladder. Does that mean it only goes... Oh, it might only go down one if it works like the uh, spaceships. Oh, man, I might have to get crafty with how I want to get this thing down on the ground. I has to be a ladder, or I might just, like, drop out and then land in the... Oh, I don't know. I want everything connected, but I didn't think about the ladder. I thought I could just put it on the outside. Let's just try it and see what happens. All right, so if my calculations are correct, this should be right by the sand waterfall. And oh, I love that view. That is exactly what I wanted. Now, can I put a ladder here? Oh, what? What? So wait, I have to... Uh, yeah, so this is the base. I wonder what would happen if I put it on the ground. So yeah, being that this is an indoor ladder, I'd have to build bases all the way down uh, to put a ladder inside of each... Oh my god, that would be insane. That would be so annoying too, because I'd have to click every ladder to go up and up and up and up. <laughs> I, I think... Why is there not, like, another ladder where you can stack them? It's so weird to me. I might have to have the world's ugliest staircase going down or just a drop. The annoying part is if I do a drop, that means I can't get inside my base from over here, which is where I usually am. So I might actually have to bite the bullet and just do a giant tower of these. I'm so sick of doing these. But I might need to if I want to do this right. Well, my nightmare continues. Uh, I did not plan this out at all. So the great thing is you can only build ladders upwards. So obviously I have to start from the ground to build the ladders. So what I'm essentially doing now is having makeshift scaff. <laughs> Ow. But yeah, I had to make makeshift scaffolding so I can build downwards because I have no idea how to eyeball this and get this perfect and start from the ground up. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. It's fantastic. This stupid idea has gotten so much harder than I thought it would be. Okay, I think maybe just maybe that might have been a dumb idea, but I'm pretty sure I've tested it. I was really close before. Yes, this has been the most stupidest thing I've ever done in a game, I think. I mean, there's no point to this except for my own freaking pride. And of course, I didn't bring titanium with me, but God damn it, we did it. I mean, not yet, but we're really close. And the great thing is with all this iron from the staircases, the ladders will be really easy to make because all I need is cobalt and I've been collecting that. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh my God. I'm not going to be able to put it on the ground because of this rock. Oh God, I hate you. I hate, can I destroy it? I can't destroy it. Oh, all right. Well... Uh, I think we're gonna have a little bit of a floaty base here. The important part is we did it. I mean, it's not perfect. Oh, that's gonna bother me. I need to, like, design something to bring it down to the ground here or something. I mean, I guess considering the terrain isn't perfectly flat, we can kind of build the entrance right here and build outwards this way so we're at least floating a bit, which is probably a smart thing because I want to build this base big. Bigger than what I've already did. Oh yeah, that's actually good. That's totally fine because we're gonna be wrapping this base kind of around this structure anyways. So crisis averted. Now for the extremely fun part of building upwards now. All right, so I'm gonna kind of keep these things in the middle. Wait, can we not stack them? Oh, we can't stack them. We can't, We can, okay, well, what I'm gonna have to, oh, I can't get out now. <laughs> I, I am I am in a hellhole right now. I actually, wait, is this like a game-breaking bug? Because I can't, what did I just deconstruct? I can't, uh, please tell me I can make a door. <gasps> I'm stuck. Wait, no, I'm not, I'm dumb. I can climb down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of losing my mind at this point. So if I'm doing stupid things, 
Uh, try doing this for a couple hours. Okay, so we're gonna have to, uh... Oh, I hate that I can't walk through these either. We're gonna have to do, like, kind of just go like this around the whole structure uh, as we're going up. This is getting worse and worse the more I do it. Oh. <laughs> well, that was an anticlimactic ending. I thought I was still going up. Wait, can I go to the roof? That would actually be very convenient. Aha, uh -huh, I can. I don't know if I'll use this or not, but just because. So, yeah. I mean, it's a little annoying going down, but I designed it so when I turn left or right every time, depending on if I'm going up and down or, or, or down, of course, uh, I can just click them all. And now you can kind of appreciate how truly stupidly high this thing is. Not the fastest to get down, but it's the fanciest. Oh, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Now, my goal is to have this all clear with glass, but screw that. Glass takes four iron and four cobalt per uh, square. So, yeah, no, that we're, we are not doing that today. I, I, I have built enough, goddammit. Probably should have did this at the start of this episode, but uh, I forgot I had an extra rocket engine lying around. So we are going to up the pressure because that's going to give me the T2 miner so I can get rare resources. Uh, and that's going to... No object to launch. What are you talking about? Uh, that's going to help with, yeah, getting the miner. And the multipliers on this are insane. I should be launching a lot more of these. Ah, uh, yes. Come to me, my resources. Ah, uh, I love this view now. You can see... Man, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get through there anymore. That's the pathway I used to take. Yeah, kind of a uh, waterlog now. Now, I could be insane and build out this way as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that or not. I kind of love the idea of just connecting all of this map together, though, slowly. Now, I need a little bit of a break. Uh, that was a lot of building today, I know. Uh, I do want to do some more exploration in the next episode, and I really got to focus on algae and whatnot so we can hopefully get a green planet soon. So we are almost done the lake stage. Not sure what's happening after that, but as you can see, yeah, my pace is gone. The lake is almost fully done, and yeah, in the next episode, I think we'll work on trying to get as much greenery on this planet as possible and possibly doing some more exploration because it's been a while since I left my base and I need a break. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.